Let's travel to distant lands. Let's make a custom dimension. All right, we find stuff back in the once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom dimension to Minecraft. So for that, we're first of all going to make a new package in our world package called dimension. And in there, we're going to need two classes. So one of them is the KG teleporter class. And the other one is going to be the mod dimensions class. Now, once again, I'm going to copy everything over, but everything is available to you in the description below, GitHub repository or individual gists, and you will see that the mod dimensions class is very easy, right? It's just a resource key of type level called KG dim. And this just creates a new key here under the under our namespace and with the name KG dim. This is also the name that we're going to have as the JSON file. So we're going to use JSON files for the dimension generation because that I feel like is a lot easier. And then I'm actually going to copy over the contents of this class as well. And I'm going to quickly explain what is going on. So overall, basically, we have a position where this particular teleporter is, right? So this implements the iTeleporter interface from Forge. And the general idea is that we basically know, hey, are we inside of this... Uh, are we inside of the dimension or not? And if we are, then we basically will change a little, a few things. This place entity method basically places the entity in this destination position, which we're basically trying here. So in this while loop, this crazy thing that might look absolutely insane, this basically just checks for two spaces, which are air, basically where the actual entity, or in this case, the player can actually spawn. And if that is found, then we're going to teleport the player to it and here we basically check a 10 by 10 by 10 cube, whether or not something is a speedy speedy block. So the speedy block is the thing that we're going to basically take uh, and right click so that we can teleport. And if anywhere in a 10 by 10 by 10 radius or, or block, a speedy block exists, we do not set a new block. Otherwise, we're going to set this just so that we can basically get back as well. So that's the general idea here. Overall, the teleporter isn't too crazy. Once again, most of the credit goes to Dunkmania101 for the Daylight Dimension mod, which has basically this type of teleporter in there. It was incredibly useful to have an example, even though it was 116.5, the changes aren't that crazy to basically 117.1. So once again, this is of course also linked in the description below and the license notice is available as well. Right, and now we only need to change the speedy block. And once again, I will copy over the use method. So we're going to change the use method here. And I'm going to quickly explain what this all means. So first of all, of course, only on the server, easily enough, not crouching, and then we get the Minecraft server, making sure that this is not null, we then check whether or not so this if statement here, this is the, like the big one. Uh, if this is true, we are in our custom dimension. And we're now we want to go to the overworld basically saying, hey, now let's go to the overworld and we are not basically in our dimension. And then here, exactly the opposite in this else, we are in the overworld, we want to go to the custom dimension. So there we go to the custom dimension. And we say yes, we are inside of the custom dimension now. Honestly, the general gist is not too crazy looking at this. It shouldn't be too complicated or too crazy to understand. Overall, this is fairly straightforward. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that sometimes the placement of where you are placed is a little bit off or a little bit different, a little bit weird, let's say, because the daylight dimension, well, from where I've taken this basically, has the Y level of 61 just being the ground. So therefore, this is why this is basically is the way that it is. I highly recommend you play around with this a little bit yourself as well. So you can definitely change this. And that's basically the general gist of it. Now we also need the two JSON files. I'm going to copy those over. Those go into the data folder, into the tutorial mod. And this is going to be under both the dimension and the dimension type folders here. So the AG dim type is just type here. And then this one is just a normal overworld, basically. And here you can see this is also the type that refers to right here. Once again, our good friends at misode.io with the dimension generator and the dimension type generator are, of course, the best resource we can have here, making sure that this is set to 117, very important. And otherwise, just basically go ahead and just do everything that you need to do in your dimension once here. And you should be able to, well, generate a dimension that you like to have. And after all of that has been added, let's see if it works. Right, what will greet you is this experimental settings warning right here, either if you go into an already existing world or if you create a new world, 
I will have a interesting resource at the end of this video, also linked in the description below, that is basically just a mod that you can basically link in your mod page as well that people can download because this is actually really annoying. All right, we found us back in Minecraft and let's just right click the speedy block and there we go. Here we are and the speedy block here has generated as well. And we are actually in a new biome. You can see tutorial mod KJ Dim. So this has all worked totally fine. And if I right click again, then here we are back again in our overworld. So that's actually how easy it can be. So it actually seems like the shut up experimental settings is not available for 117 as it seems. I'm not 100% sure. However, there is a GitHub repository if you want to take a look at this. I believe that this should also work as well. Right, but that would be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So, yeah.